build survivor quick review of my solar system and backup power unit this was done probably two years now of use um, still all working absolutely fine except for the battery which is the 12 volt 75 amp hour absorbed glass mat AGM battery um, dual use um, a lot of this stuff has been mentioned on YouTube and I but uh, this is now a review where I've used this for two years consistently and it now has a grand total of about 5 amp hours of use left in it um, next to useless really do all my phones and that sort of thing off it still but apart from that not much use um, it's done well, I mean I have used it a couple of times, taken it away that's the reason I got it because it's uh, portable with the uh, handle etc but I've actually been using it most of the time at home and for that purpose it's not very good the rest of the setup is um, going very well working very nicely no issues at all with it um, so I've had to put my light on to get a bit more light in here because the uh, bulb I've got on is pretty small and not very effective so this unit's been working absolutely fine I've used several batteries on it, I've used the lithium iron batteries I made on it um, absolutely no issues whatsoever um, I'm going to be upgrading my battery now oh, I've had enough of this one, this is now going to be a proper deep cycle Trojan 12 volt 105 amp hour battery so a proper deep cycle battery um, I was going to go for a golf cart battery um, but I've just decided to just go for the Trojan I think it's about £120 this one here cost me £75 which is probably about £105, £110 now and um, it's just a waste of money two years and it's dead so it would be good if I was going camping etc I'm not using it that often but this is as you can see hooked up permanently and um, they're just not designed for it so a shame really but you do live and learn so I'll be changing the battery very soon um, just another extra little bit on this this is a inverter this is a 150 watt inverter and I just purely plug that in the side like this and you're gonna hear what happens so let's get to all that light that is the fan that is now not working so that's another waste of money that's lasted nine months continuous use only overnight so it's only doing about eight to ten hours a night just outside lighting um, six months six to nine, nine months yeah nine months not working at all um, fans obviously broken which means there's overheat and it's gonna burn out so and that was 20 pounds I paid for that bit disappointed again I bought another one which was a cheap one which burnt out as well and that was after six months this one was twice the price and it's burnt out after nine months so all in all don't waste your money on cheap inverters or these ones if you can use them permanently I mean I know they're for car adapters they're not designed to be used constantly but it was a good test to see how long these things last and they don't last you're better off getting not necessarily that one because it's actually got quite high draw that CD 600 watt um, it's a nice unit, but it does draw more power than I, I thought it would. But it's a nice amount of power um, to charge everything, run tools, etc. However, <laughs> the cheap inverters and the more expensive inverters need to be sufficient wattage. So I've got 150 watt, which can run lights and things, and I've got 600 watt with a max of 1000 watt, I think that is. But unfortunately, as you can see next door, is my cheap fridge I've got for emergencies. And it's not got enough power to keep the starter motor in on the fridge, making it pretty much useless for what I wanted it for, which means I now need to spend another £200 on a larger inverter. Or I might go for a cheaper Chinese design, but I've got to do a lot more research on my inverters before I go shelling out £200. So, a bit of a learning curve, be good fun, all working properly still, batteries are the only issue with this system, and larger inverter. Hope it's been uh, some use to you guys out there, and I hope it's going to save you some money in the future, because um, it's all mistakes and learning. You take care, and I'll talk to you soon.